In primetime news this evening, ombudsman legislation passed in controversial circumstances in Gordon House on Tuesday. Destruction and displacement as intense rainfall and winds lash sections of the country. And JLP politician in the spotlight after brandishing a gun during a brawl in St. Thomas. Good evening and welcome to Primetime News. A special welcome to our viewers on TVJ International in the Cayman Islands and to those of you watching online at onespotmedia.com. I'm Herman Green. And I'm Janella Precious with a preview of what's to come in business news. Here's Javon Keys. Well, Janella, after raising millions, Project Star has listed on the Jamaica Social Stock Exchange. We'll have that. And what's happening with Jamaica's trade deficit? I'll have the details later on. All right, and Spencer Darlington is also here to give us a preview of what's to come in sports. Spencer? Thank you very much, Herman. Well, the West Indies have been swept by Australia in their three-match ODI series down under. We'll have the details on that and more much later in primetime sports. And speaking of under, we had lots of waves, the high tides causing a lot of havoc in certain parts of Jamaica. Romaine, what is causing this? It's really the strong winds, those strong northwesterly winds that have been causing those high waves across most of the north over the past 24 hours. We're expecting things to die down as we move into tomorrow. We're also expecting less rainfall across the area. And we're also expecting temperatures to remain cool across most of the island over the next day or so. Okay, now there's also sports commentary and E-Prime in the news package. But before the break, here's our feedback question. And this evening we're asking what has been your experience traveling on the Harborview to Yala segment of the South Coast Highway. You can share your comments online, facebook.com slash television Jamaica or on X at TVJ News Center. Please stay with us. Primetime News returns after this break. <laughs> 